Radio.net. Hey, happy Friday morning to you. That's uh, Remy May with the Washing Machine song featuring Cody Canada. And uh, a few months back, earlier this summer, we had the pleasure of meeting Remy May in person. She did a big show for us at Friday Night Live at Broadway A3O. It was a hot one, but she was amazing, and we're looking forward to having her back in the area. This time, uh, tomorrow at Graf 7A Ranch in Hondo, the weather should be pretty nice. It's going to be a really great family environment. And here to talk about it and get us caught up with what she's uh, been doing on the phone with me right now. Please welcome Remy May. <laughs> welcome, my lady. Hey, Robert. Doing? What's up, dude? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited to talk to you again. It's been a, it's been a minute, but not too long. Yeah. So you were yeah, here. I still remember. I still remember how how hot we were on that back patio. Oh my lordy goodness! It was such a hot summer. We do this uh, Friday night live thing every Friday at Broadway A3O, and we've been doing it for years. And this was a record breaker, man. Like it was, everybody was just whoo. I mean, I drank so many cold beers and and interesting cocktails. Uh, but you you were so great. Thank you so <laughs> much for being such a a good sport about it. I know that uh, we talk about it. you're from Colorado, so you. You know, the, the, I'm sure you're still adjusting to Texas heat, but you, you did say it got pretty hot out there, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it gets above above 100, but then in the wintertime, you know, we also get two feet of snow. So it's crazy, crazy stuff. Extreme. So let's go ahead and recap because we, we did a full on interview with you at Friday Night Live. But for those who have, are maybe just hearing your name for the first time, go ahead and give us, in your own words, the quick Remy May biography. And then you and I will just get caught up about uh, and talk about tomorrow, okay? Awesome. The really May biography. Okay, so I'm from a place called Pea Green, Colorado, and I played all around Colorado. I started professionally when I was 17 and decided that I needed to move to a place with a little more opportunity, so I decided to move down to New Braunfels, Texas, um, and I'm living the dream. I work at the School of Rock in New Braunfels. I teach vocals and guitar. I have a song out with Cody Canada, which is the one that you guys just heard, which um, thank you for playing that, by the way, Robert. Uh-huh. And... Uh, um, yeah, I'm just making music and went on tour with Cody Canada and playing as many shows as I can. So what's Cody like? Is he a cool guy? Like, I, I've I've seen him perform a couple of times. I've actually never met him yet, and I've actually never even interviewed him yet, which is kind of weird for a guy like me. For those of us who are Cody Canada fans, what's an interesting tidbit of information about Cody? He, well, first of all, he's awesome. He's great. <laughs> he's exactly on stage. What you see on stage, that's exactly what he is. And, uh, um... But something that people don't realize, you know, kind of because he's a rock and roll dude, he's such a big softy. He's like a huge softy lover dude. <laughs> You're going to ruin his rap. Be careful. I know. <laughs> He's going to kill me. <laughs> so so you were here, like I said, during the summertime, and uh, you've, you've got a, an EP, I guess, right now that's out. Let's go and talk about that. Uh, tell people about the music that you've got out right now and how they can acquire it. Yeah, so I recorded it at Yellow Dog Studios in Wimberley, um, which, in my opinion, is the best. I, everybody should go there. Um, but I put that out in in January, and you can find it, you know, on all, all platforms. Um, but listen to radio. Everybody listen to radio. <laughs> Appreciate and, that. Uh, yeah, and so the first single I put out was that washing machine song, and then I also put out a song with Miss Sunny Sweeney, a song that I wrote when I was about 15, featuring Sunny Sweeney, and that was my second single to go out, and I believe it's still on the chart. And we're going to play that here. As soon as we wrap up, we're going to play that one, too, so y'all hang tight for some some other Remy May music, Um, but uh, any any plans uh, to put any more singles off that same EP, or are you going to get back to the, uh, you know, studio and do some brand new stuff? Actually, both. Um, I plan to put out a song called August Nights, um, probably towards the end of this year. Um, maybe November, December time. And then hopefully, you know, if I get my butt into gear and keep writing, hopefully get back in the studio in the springtime. Fantastic. That's awesome. So let's get caught up on what you've been up to since you were here last. Uh, I know I've seen you. Like you said, you've been doing shows with Cody. Um, any other interesting stuff? I know summertime, you know, there might have been some festivals or some uh, some other cool opening gigs. Uh, any Anything interesting to talk about? Yeah. Well, yeah, like you just said, I went on tour with Cody and we played a couple of festivals and that was so fun. Um, just a quick little tour. And... When I got back, I played um, I played a really cool BMI thing in Austin, a BMI songwriter series, um, where they invite um, certain BMI songwriters to the stage, and it's, it's really cool. And then I played Saxon again, full band, just been playing um, acoustic shows and full band shows, which is awesome. 
Um, so I've got Hondo this weekend, which I'm really excited about, which is full band. We've been rehearsing for you guys. And then uh, actually October 28th, I am full band in Lukenbach, which I'm really excited about. I'm on the inside stage. It's Saturday night, and I am ready to go. Fantastic. Now, let's talk about this full band stuff. Again, we had you and Uvalde when you made your Uvalde debut, and it was you solo. You are a capable guitarist, capable vocalist. Um, it's just great show. Plus, you're, you're totally cute, you know, so, you know, anybody out there, you know, she's just... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no, so you know what? I'm like, you're easy on the eye, so it's a it's a full package show, is what I'm saying. You know, um, <laughs> but but it's like, but but bringing the uh, I'm sorry if I embarrassed you. I, I know you can't really say that kind of no, stuff anymore. No. You get canceled now for calling a girl pretty, <laughs> which is silly. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. But uh, but now the full band thing. How does that differ? I mean, I'm sure it differs vastly uh, from just the the solo Remy with a guitar, because like I said, it, it's a great show all on your own but tell me how that dynamic changes with the full band and, and how many guys you got in the band and, and who are they yeah so it absolutely changes you're right so i go from you know i'm a little bit of a rocker chick which people wouldn't really think uh by hearing my first two singles out because they're pretty texas country mm-hmm. um but i'm uh yeah so when you're by yourself and just have yourself an acoustic guitar um you know you can only convey so much and so it's really cool when i get my band behind me and we're able to do some some rock and roll and the rest of my songs off the ep which is you know they're 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 southern rock and um so that's really fun and that's my favorite and i can i'm not stuck behind the microphone with a guitar and i can dance around a little bit and get crazy um but i've got a great band i've got a couple people that i i cycle in and out but um got some cats from austin uh, a chick drummer named ashlyn shanafelt who is just the coolest cat ever um and then a lead player, also from Austin, who plays with Hayes Carl a lot, um, and Nick Garza and people like that. And uh, his name is Aton Seconds. And then I've got a chick bass player, so I've got an all chick rhythm section, which wow. is really cool. Yeah. And uh, so chick drummer, chick bass player. Um, the bass player is 18. Her name is Elle Gorman, and she actually um, just graduated from the School of Rock, which is really cool. And now she works there, and I kind of picked her up and. And said, "Hey, girl, you want to play in my band?" She said, "Yeah." <laughs> what a great so, perk, uh, right? What a great perk to work at the School of Rock, where you literally, you know, you can intercept these rising musicians and, and get, yes. get first dibs, right? It's literally, it's literally built in. Yeah, it's built in musicians. I just, I'm like, "Hey, you doing anything this weekend? You want to play?" It's really cool. Now, 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 do you do you uh, plan on having these as your like the Remy May band, or at this point, are these more like hired guns? Well. You know, Robert, <laughs> at this point, they're hired guns because, you know, I can't pay their bills. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Sure, gotcha. So, but eventually, yeah, I, I love these dudes. And, you know, we're all, we all have really great chemistry on stage. And I think that when I get to the point where I'm booking um, a couple full band shows a week, then I, I think I could work something out where they would, you know, stick with me um, permanently in my band, which is really cool. So. That is fantastic. So for those who have not seen a Remy May show, whether it's solo or full band, um, give us just a, a little uh, information as to what that set's like. I'm sure you do your original stuff. I, I know you're going to do some cover songs. Uh, just give us a little preview as to how that, because you, you're doing a three-hour set, uh, 7 to 10 p.m. tomorrow, Saturday night, at uh, Graf 7A Ranch. I'm sure there's going to be a break in there. But, I mean, it, it's a, a full dance floor. you got you got the dance barn. you got some cold beer. you got lots of stuff for the family. Um, tell us what to expect as far as your stage show yeah so i'm really excited about that um i have never been out to the graph seven so that it's going to be cool but uh yeah so three hours we've got all my stuff which like i said is you know some texas country but also southern rock we've got some harder stuff which is fun to dance to and then you know as far as covers go we play a little bit of everything like i said more on the on the rocky side um some Four Non Blondes, some Bob Seger, some, uh, let's see, Joan Jett, some Alana Miles. Um, but then we also have the, the classic country stuff, like a little bit of Loretta Lynn that people can two-step to, and some, like, Charlie Pride and uh, Janis Joplin and all kinds of all kinds of stuff. 
I love it. I, I love the variety. I love that mix of, of rock and classic country. It's going to be such a good show. Again, we're talking to Remy May from the New Braunfels area. She's going to be performing tomorrow, Saturday, uh, September 30th at the Graf 7A Ranch in Hondo. That's the home of the South Texas Maze, so you can get lost in their eight-acre maze. they got a pumpkin patch. Uh, the pumpkin patch might not be coming until October, but it will be there uh, this fall. They've got cold beer, and they got amazing like margaritas out there. Uh, so bring the kids for some fall fun and uh, get details at graph7aranch.com. Remy's playing with her band from 7 to 10 p.m. I, I believe um, you can get even a group discount tickets if you want to bring a, a whole big posse with you. Um, Remy, so um, you said you haven't been to Graph Ranch before. Well, are you looking forward to getting out there in the corn maze or uh, you know doing any of that those, yeah. those fall activities? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, you know, I told my band, I said, y'all need to show up early because they got <laughs> cool stuff going on. So, uh and, you know, I'm not exactly sure what the setup is, but if people get lost in the corn maze, I'll just be like, oh, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Hey, so so what are some of your uh, your personal favorite fall activities? Do you like going on hay rides or carving jack lanterns? What, what are some of the things that you and your family do? Yeah, actually, we used to have this huge pumpkin carving party. Um, we didn't throw it, but um, friends of ours threw it. And so we had a competition to see who could carve the coolest pumpkin. And we made some crazy things like people would stick deer antlers in their pumpkins wow. or or one year I made a hamburger pumpkin like situation where the pumpkin was two, the two buns you know and we used real hamburger and we did all kinds of crazy stuff so so yeah of course just carving pumpkins and and I just love it when it gets cold you know which yeah. we have not hit that thing yet <laughs> but we're we're getting there we're working on it I believe the weather's going to be real nice this weekend, so it'd definitely be uh, an easier show for you than that one you did here in Uvalde in the middle of the summertime. So, um, yes. uh, uh, plus you're you're kind of a, it's kind of an indoor outdoor kind of thing, you know, where you got the barn covering you, and they've got some nice fans in there. Plus, Ken and Lori are great hosts and hostesses. They'll bring you lots of cold beverages. It's going to be a great time. So, again, Remy May full band tomorrow, September 30th at the Graf Seven A Ranch in Hondo. Um, I guess Remy. Last question. Uh, last time you were in, in uh, Uvalde, you uh, you brought your mom and dad along. It was kind of cool to meet them. How was the family doing? How are they doing? Oh, that's sweet of you to ask. <laughs> yeah, that was so fun of them to to come down for that radio tour. But they're they're great. Um, uh, my dad's fixing to retire in January, so he's getting real antsy and real excited for that. And <laughs> I think my mom's gonna kill him. And <laughs> But they're good. They're awesome. I think I'm actually uh, fixing to go see them in a couple weeks. So it should be nice and cool in Colorado at this time. Sounds like everything is going great for you. Uh, tell everybody the uh, the website and the social media is all that, uh, the ways to find you. Absolutely. Well, first of all, thanks for having me. Thanks for doing this. Appreciate it. Um, but, yeah, so my website's just remymay.com. That's R-E-M-I-M-A-E.com. You can find all my merch. You know, you can buy all kinds of stuff on there. We got something for your mom, your grandma, your dog, your baby, whatever, you know. Um, and then you can also follow my bands in town on my website, and that will tell you where I'm going to be up next, um, which is Luke and Bach on October 28th. And then you can also find me on all, all the socials and stuff, so... So, yeah. Thank you, Robert. Oh, thank you for checking in, and uh, we're excited to see you this weekend at the Graf 7A Ranch in Hondo. Let's go and do that latest single. It's called Classic Kind of Thing. This one features uh, Sonny Sweeney. Go ahead and give us your little quick backstory uh, with your relationship with Sonny before we get this on. Yeah, so I, I think I opened for her when I was about 18 in Grand Junction, Colorado, way before I moved, um, and at this really cool venue called The Warehouse, and just kind of struck up a conversation with her and you know we really dug each other and she gave me a lot of advice and um when i moved down here we kind of just kept in touch and she's helped me out i've played a couple shows with her in houston and stuff and and she sang on this this record and she's just real sweet and we you know she's like my big sister and she's awesome that's awesome and the rest is history y'all let's check it out this is remy may featuring sunny sweeney classic kind of thing the current single by remy may on uvaldiradio.net thank you ma'am appreciate you we'll see you saturday Yes, sir. Uh-huh.